Hello mamas, Jessica here. I want to know, would you describe your teen as confident? And even more so, what rating would you give your teen's confidence? If you had to choose between 1 and 10 with being 10 being the most confident possible, does your teen get a 10? I want to know. We're talking about this because confidence can make or break your teen. I know that's a reality check, kind of a brand new realization for some of you mamas, so let's talk about it. My name is Jessica Coulter. I am the CEO and founder of Ace Cookie Tutoring, and I have a Facebook group I'd love to have you join. The link is down below for you to join us after the video. So, confidence. Your teen, no matter what number you put down between one and 10, has to be confident. Right? And when I say this, I mean confident to try new things, and I mean confident to do things she knows she can do already, let alone things she doesn't know she can do. So let me explain. If your teen knows how to do something, she just knows it, like it's something she's practiced, it's something she's done before, she's probably going to be confident to do it. But if your teen's in class, the teacher introduces a new subject, a new topic, something your teen has never seen before, will she be as confident? And I gotta tell you, the answer is no. Your teen has never done this before. Your teen is new to this subject, new to this way of doing the problem or this topic or whatever it is they're doing in class. So how do we help your teen be confident? Even if it's brand new to her, even if it's, if it's something your child has never done before, well, that is when the idea of growth mindset comes into play, when it becomes so, so important. Your child has to believe she will learn it. Your son has to believe, yes, I can get good at this. Even if I'm not right now, I will be soon. Okay, so let's talk about this more. Before I do, I'm live on Facebook right now. I'm not sure I'm live on YouTube, but the plan was to be live on both places, but I think I might be having a little bit of an issue with my connection to YouTube. So definitely encourage you to become a follower on Facebook, subscriber on YouTube, so you always catch these videos live when technology works. So let's talk more about confidence, more about this idea of growth mindset. The simple thing here, and I say it's simple, and it's simple in theory, but mama is to take some practice and remember as you're learning, your teens are learning. So definitely have a little bit of grace for both you and your children. This idea of growth mindset. We have to focus on the process over the actual destination, the actual result. Okay. Now I can tell you Angela Duckwork is the uh, expert at this. So she's written the book. She's done the research. But definitely do know growth mindset, the power of yet, is where the confidence comes from. You know your child's confident when she's willing to raise her hand in class and answer a question. You know your child's confident when uh, you say, hey, let's do this together. Let's try this together. And your teen says, yeah, let's do it. You know your teen's confident when she trusts herself to do something a hundred times she's already done before. You know your son's confident when he's scared, when he is not sure it's going to end well, but yet he doesn't stay scared. He instead is brave, he's courageous, and he goes for it. Might not go well, but he still goes for it. So definitely, mamas, if you've got a teen, a tween, a college student, do know confidence is a huge, huge, huge part of school. It's a huge part of learning. And it's a huge part of your child's life after school. Because think about it. At your own job, have there been times you've been confident? Have there been times you could have been more confident? Would it have made a difference? Would you have gotten a different result? If you'd been more confident, maybe less confident. Is that even a thing to be less confident? And do know it makes a difference. You can probably think of something when you're like, I wonder what would have happened if I just would have went for it. If I would have tried this, if I would have trusted, I could have done it. 
Okay. So definitely confidence is one of the study skills I do teach, this idea of growth mindset. If you want to know more about this, you want to know more about study skills in general, you want to know more about my Love to Learn program. So your teen knows how to learn by knowing how he studies, how she personally learns with her own learning style, join my Facebook group. The link is in the description. Click it, answer a couple questions, and you'll be in. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to join me on Facebook, on YouTube, as well as in my group so you never miss any of my content all about teens, all about learning in school. Have a good night. See you soon.